it's your girl the bedrock beauty and i'm back with my ipsy versus birch box versus sephora play and i know you guys are thinking it's already september but i literally just got my ipsy bag because it never came so i was dealing with them so let's get started with this well anticipated taking forever video so what we're going to do this time we're going to start with sephora play because this is my first time unboxing it on my channel so when you get it in the mail it comes like this with this really cute little really cute little bag this this month it's like a little winky face and it says wink outside the box then there also is this big little thing with all the information on it that i don't use so let's open it up Okay, so the first thing I see is this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is super gorgeous. I've never tried any Urban Decay Mascara before. So it comes with this little packaging. It seems like there's a decent size, I guess. You guys know I love getting mascaras because I always switch out my mascaras. Okay, so the next thing I see in here is this Sephora contour eye pencil and it's in the shade love affair so it's in the shade love affair I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys it's a cute little pencil it's like a deep plum kind of color I don't know if you guys are picking that up on camera but it's like a deep plum little kind of color that's pretty nice Okay, next thing is this Complete Eye Renewal Balm. It doesn't, it doesn't really smell bad. It smells like a moisturizer. So, it says apply to the eye area twice a day. I don't really use a lot of eye creams because I don't really have wrinkles or anything like that. So, I try to stay away from putting too many products on my face. Okay, next thing I see is this, ooh, is this Makeup Forever Artist Shadow is really pretty it's kind of this like mauve kind of grayish purple tone color I'm not really good at describing eyeshadows but this is the shade I'm not sure if you guys are picking that up but it's really gorgeous it's really pretty and iridescent you see that it's really nice okay that's exciting it's my first time trying to make up forever eyeshadow as well so yes Okay, we have a perfume, but I'm going to save the perfume for last, just in case it stinks. Okay, the second to last product in here is from Lancome, okay. And this is the Smoothing Glow Booster. So I don't know if it's like an, um, a highlighter or, or what. It says Glow Booster, so let's see. Oh, it's like a serum, it feels like. It's like a liquid. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's basically a clear liquid, like oil. You see that? And I guess it reminds me of the milk oil that we got in our birch box not too long ago. It smells kind of alcohol mixed with lemon, so I don't know if I'm going to really be using this, but I guess it would be cool as a base for your highlight so you can glow with the Greek goddesses. Okay, so last, we are going back to this clean reserve um perfume and i hate oh i hate getting perfumes because i'm like nine times out of the ten i hate the scent but let's spray it and see how it okay it actually smells like fabric softener gain kind of clean so this is something like i would like probably spray in my um uh, my drawers or something like that nothing that i would want to like smell like outside like it smells kind of like laundry so it doesn't stink which is a plus so overall for eleven dollars because technically this is ten dollars but they're the only box that charges tax so so far this isn't bad i've actually my last month i have a few items that i'm just like loving from there the primer that I got that I didn't feature with you guys because this is my first time opening it on my channel. But Sephora Play has actually, 
one of my favorite boxes of right now because you get the little 50 point card which you can go and redeem for points at Sephora which I think is amazing because that's basically like spending $50 without spending $50 so Sephora play is it's pretty good so let's jump into this ipsy bag that I had to wait 3,000 years for but you guys know that I love getting the pink mailers I I just love it so I'm in love with the bag this month as well like it's like this beautiful makeup goddess I love it so first what we're gonna do is I redeemed a thousand points for this $46 foundation from Hourglass, which I received one from Influencer for free, but it was in like a really off shade for me. So I kind of use it as concealer. So let's hope that this is closer to my skin tone. They have a lot of color ranges though, but I do love the formula of this. So let's find somewhere to swatch it. It seems like it will be, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, can you see it? I picked the worst place to swatch. Let's try this again. We're gonna take the rest of this stuff off my hands. So we're gonna try to swatch this. And this is a decent color. You can barely see it. But I think that it may be a little light, but it's workable. So it's way better than the one that I got from Influencer, which was like stark on me. So this is great that I have redeemed my thousand points for this. I'm excited about that. Okay, so let's get into the bag. Okay, you know they have the little card that's useless. So the first thing I see in here is the It Cosmetics Tug Proof Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And I love getting black eyeliners. So since I'm not wearing any black eyeliner, we're just going to give it a go. Is it a twist bottom? Oh, I love the screw bottoms. I love that. Because you don't have to mess up this pretty packaging with a sharpener. So let's just go ahead and... It does glide on really well. It's not as black as I like. It's not as black as I like, but it's still okay. Like, it's usable. There wasn't any tug, so the tagline is right. But this is just okay. Kind of cool to keep in your purse for those touch-up moments or whatever. But nothing to, like, wow. At least to me. I do love It's Cosmetics. I love their mascara. So, I'll kind of try to get a little bit of use out of this. But it's not going to be something that I grab for. Okay, next, I see... We got some Symphony Beauty Makeup Cleansing Wipes, which I go through makeup wipes like nobody's business. So it's always good to have these. And this is a decent size. There's 10 wipes in here, so you can get a couple of uses out of this. So, all right, Yipsy. Next thing I see is this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I know that I love these because I have it in two other shades. So I'm excited that I didn't get a repeat shade. So this is the shade. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what. Okay, yes it does. Okay, this is the shade Berry Boost. Which is this kind of. Kind of mar maroon pink kind of shade. Let's go ahead and swatch it. I think, did they change the applicator? They might have changed the applicator. I'm not sure. But look at that color, guys. Gorgeous. Even though we're heading into the fall, don't be afraid to pull out a, a nice pink color like this and rock it no matter what time of the year it is. So let's keep going, going. Okay, so next I see this Jersey Shore or Jersey Shore Sun Monogongo. Monogongo. Y'all, I don't know why they put these difficult names on products. And this is a lip conditioner, which is AKA a lip balm. Guys, the smell is go. Oof. I almost said gorgeous, but it's amazing. It's like this citrus. So it's really supposed to be green, 
orange ginger. No, mandarin green orange ginger. It smells like like seven up or Sierra Mist. I love it. Let's see how it feels on the skin. Okay, it's very smooth, you know, not too greasy. I, I love this. I cannot wait. I've ran out of my favorite lip balm, so we can put this in our purse. And last thing I see is this nail polish. And it's from Formula X, which I own more Formula X nail polishes than I own any other nail polish because I love the formula. <laughs> Super funny. So I got the color Doll Face, which is this gorgeous pastel pink kind of color. I'm not sure if you guys are picking it up. It's kind of close to white, so I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well. But I love this color. Very like everyday chic kind of color. I love it. So overall, my Ipsy bag was amazing. I'm still upset that I had to wait pretty much a month. To receive it like I received it in September so it was kind of like really really guys but the bag is amazing I'm gonna get use out of pretty much every product that I have in my bag so let's see if Birchbox can keep up these good things that I've been getting in my subscription services this month and for you guys that don't know I haven't even did my little spiel all of these subscription services are ten dollars a month Except for Sephora Play because you pay your 10% tax, so it's $11. But they're all $10 a month and you get four to six beauty items every month. Some of them high-end, some of them drugstore. It just really depends. So if you want to subscribe to any of these services that I'm mentioning, click the links down below. And don't forget while we in the middle of the video. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll wait a little bit. Okay, you did it. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you love unboxing videos as much as I do. So let's get into the Birch Box. So the Birch Box this month is this real like art deco type of print. I don't really do anything with the boxes, but the box is okay this month. So let's see. So unlike all the rest of the subscriptions, Birchbox actually gives you a lot of information about the subscriptions. I think Support Play does, but I don't know if they put the prices. Like, I didn't really look at the little card, but this one I know they put the prices on there and more information than Ipsy, of course. So let's just dive right on in. First off, let's just let the world know that I'm not the only person that got this eyeshadow freaking exploded. I know I was watching Bunny's video and her eyeshadow was exploded as well and I'm really upset about this. So I may have to do some customer service calls because this is ridiculous. But this is the Mana Cardar Beauty um, eyeshadow and this is supposed to be like I guess a sample of the palette. So the palette is I think $25. Is it even on here? Yeah, the palette is the full size palette is twenty five dollars. This shadow is worth zero dollars because it's broken. So we're gonna try to see if we can get a new one. Okay, so next thing I see is this Arabi Gold Lust Transformation Mask, which I'm assuming is for your hair. It says the treatment packed with healing botanical extracts reverses damage and rejuvenates tired and dry hair. So I'm like really loving Arabe's stuff or Arrive or whatever you want to call it. I love a lot of their hair products. I've gotten some dry shampoo that I use on my fake hair. So, well, it's human, but you you guys get the drift. I love this. So let's see if it has a scent because I love to smell things. It smells really like light soap, refreshing type. So not bad. The full size of this is $65. Come on, bruh. I'm not spending $65 on a hair product. Never. No. Okay, next thing I see is this kind of oil. So it's from Beauty Protector. So this is another hair product. And Beauty Protector, I've gotten something from them in my birch box before, which was this curl protector or something like that. And I literally used the entire sample. So I know I like their product. So what is this? This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Oil. This customer favorite oil defends against UV 
against UV rays, heat, and breakage. Plus, it creates a serious shine without feeling greasy. So, I am I love hair oils because I have really dry hair. So, I love to try different oils. It smells really, really amazing. I love this. So, I'm excited to, to try this. I'm using the Moroccan oil right now. So, when I'm done with that, I'll try to rotate this in. Okay, so now I see from Vasanti, it says, Brighten Up is a enzymatic face rejuvenator exfoliating cleanser so i love trying different cleansers like i love trying cleansers i'm i'm currently using the clinique um charcoal daily cleanser that i got in my box last month so i'm excited to kind of add this to my lineup so let's see it how it is it's pretty much a kind of a thick paste i don't want to squeeze it out but it really doesn't have a scent or anything but i'm excited I'm excited for this. I love exfoliating my skin, especially after days like this when I have makeup on and I'm filming. I like to exfoliate after that. Okay, so next thing I see is a Marcel. Oh, I didn't even take out how much this was. So the Vasanti Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator is full size is $34. You get a decent size. So this is a decent size um, sample. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so next we have the Marcel... Hydra C 24 hour energizing hydrating gel. So I don't know what is what is what is this? It says this the full size of this is worth $25 first off. And it says with green tea, cucumber X with green tea, cucumber extracts, vitamin C and E, this gel moisturizer nourishes the skin without guarding against oh while guarding against pollutants. So that's pretty cool, I guess. You never have too many moisturizers, so that's cool. And lastly, what we have is another Arabi uh, or, or product, which is pretty much the Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner Set, which is pretty cool. I always love to keep these little samples because you, when I'm traveling or anything, this is something you can just toss in your bag without having to carry that big thing of shampoo so this is pretty cool i'm excited for this and i will say that overall none of the bags like really just like wowed me but if i had to choose a winner i would have to go with ipsy because i feel like ipsy had the most products that i would use on a regular basis that i know are going to be good and i of course i got to redeem for this foundation so that's a, it's amazing and I'm just like torn because Birchbox, I like Birchbox. I get a lot of cool products from brands that I wouldn't normally try. But since they changed the point values and how you get points for the shop, it's kind of making me really want to switch over to BoxyCharm. I'm like thinking about it, so I'm not sure. I, I watch a lot of BoxyCharm unboxings and I think that they're pretty cool. They're more on the expensive side, but I may switch it up we'll see we'll see i might let birchbox redeem themselves and see but i'm really upset with them about this broken eyeshadow like if you guys got a broken eyeshadow let me know down below let's be angry together but overall my subscription services were thumbs up and speaking of thumbs up, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys like seeing unboxing videos. If you like watching my videos, just give me some love. And thank you guys for watching my video. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the next one. But I will say that I'm loving this. I'm proud of myself for my first ever cut crease. I'm excited that I get to share with you guys. I'm gagging over this look though.